Protesters marching for trans rights are arrested overnight in Washington Square Park. It comes as we mark the beginning of Pride Month amid a contentious political climate for LGBTQ plus communities. CBS News Elijah Westbrook live at Washington Park with video of that protest. Elijah. That's right. Well, Mary and Chris, uh, we'll show you that video in just a few seconds, but you'll notice in it uh, multiple trans rights activists marching through the streets before ending up here at Washington Square Park. It is at this location where the NYPD says they've arrested four people for disorderly conduct. This was the scene at Washington Square Park, where dozens of trans rights activists took to the streets and marched to bring attention to issues surrounding transgender individuals and their rights. Some of the protesters tell us they were upset that the number of officers outnumbered the demonstrators on the eve of the start of Pride Month. It comes as trans rights are in focus nationwide. More than a dozen states have already enacted laws restricting gender affirming care for minors, with more expected to follow. This map here shows the 17 states that have put these laws in place, some of which have been in the spotlight for their push to ban gender affirming care and surgery for transgender people under 18. Texas, for instance, has voted to restrict transgender athletes from competing in college sports based on gender identity. Identity. Some of the more liberal states are working to protect the LGBTQ community. Michigan has a new law against discrimination, and Democrats there are pushing for a ban on conversion therapy, which aims to reorient a person's sexuality. And of course, just another battle that continues to sweep the nation again. Today marks the start of Pride Month. We're live right now from the West Village. I'm Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Okay, Elijah, thank you.